Hey guys, it's watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Spaceship. Last episode, we got a ton of work done. I'll tell you what I want to do, just very quickly. I want to swap this for that, and this for that. And then we get that sort of look all the way up the set. Looks great. Fantastic. Okay, I've just, <laughs> I've just recorded a couple of episodes with face cam. And um, I'm looking into the camera, and there ain't no camera. <laughs> it's not on. <laughs> That's going to take a little bit of getting used to. So last episode we built, uh, this is like a little bathroom here, or a little toilet room and sink. And then we've got some double bunk bed rooms throughout the place as well. Looks totally, totally awesome. A little bit of a seating area here for the communal uh, sort of bedroom stuff. And then what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've built the room for where the engine or engines are going to be. There isn't as much room as you might think. Uh, we've got a load of room down this side. Uh, at the back we've got a fair bit of room and obviously down this side it's the same. This wall has to be here because this hides up the redstone for the elevator. And behind here I do have a little bit of room before the actual sort of afterburner of the it's the engine that you can see on the outside, uh, but I've left this gap here uh, for what, a couple of reasons. One, uh, we didn't have the room to put the, the ceiling in. As you can see, if I go around the side here, this is like where it starts to shrink down with the body of the hull itself uh, gets smaller and starts to round off. So we can't go any wider. Plus, uh, we want some space for redstone to be able to be out the back as well. Because we want this engine to sort of move, uh, or not move, but at least do something if possible. So let's get some lights around the place here. Let's have a light uh, there and there. I think is sort of a, a nice number. We'll do that on the other side. There and there. And then along the back here, that one and that one. And for the moment, that will do. We can see enough in here. I don't want to put any lights on this wall because this is where the engines are going to be. I want to have three engines. I want to have one engine at the back here that powers this one. And then I want to have an engine on either side that would power these ones over here. I know this is a lot of wasted space, but look, we don't really have much room as far as like headroom and stuff goes. If we had a floor down and walls, it would end up being extremely, extremely small. Believe me. I don't, I'm not lying. It would be it'd be crazy crazy small. So what do we want here? Well, we can have pistons that move uh, But I also think that I want Dispensers to fire stuff out now. I think I want this to run on uh, or, or like dream that it ran on ender power Because it's a very powerful thing in the game uh, or blaze power end or blaze Hmm we could do both. Why, why not do both? If you can't decide, do both. So what I was thinking, now this might, we'll have to see exactly how this works. But what I want to have is some glass, some clear glass, like normal glass, here it is. Some normal glass, uh, where's the middle? This is the middle. Like this, like this, and like this. And then I want... A dropper and that'll just f constantly fire out ender pearls against this glass and you'll see them fall down and then in the bottom I want a hopper to pick them back up and then like some sort of simple hopefully redstone line uh, to get them back in so let's grab a uh, a hopper we need a hopper and we've got the droppers on us so I need this facing up and then we need a hopper into that one and a hopper into that one. So anything that falls down goes into this one. This one will then fire it into... Uh, I need somewhere to stand on. Into this one. That one will fire it into that one. Oops. Get it facing the right way. Into that one. That one will fire it into... Uh, can I... No, I need it facing up. Uh, I don't like breaking this stuff. Uh, uh into that one and then that'll fire it into the hopper back into that top one again okay now i need to fix this otherwise i'm going to be very very unhappy there we go <laughs> all right so once we've got that it goes into there uh we're gonna have to have some comparators 
and some redstone repeaters, some torches, and some redstone dust. I've got this nice little white block that should be able to do well on when to fire. So we want a comparator. We don't have an awful lot of room here. If I put an item in there, that lights that up. Uh, I got rid of the block that I need. And then a piece of redstone. Okay. Okay. And then... How do we want to do this? If I do... This... This is kind of redstone that I should really like do off camera first and work out. But it is fun doing it with you guys. Alright, so that's then... Where where is that even gone? It's gone into this third one. Okay. Uh, what if I take that out and put a torch there instead? If I put something in here. It still fired. It, it, it didn't fire it. But uh, if I put maybe a block on top. Uh, uh. No. No problem. No problem. I shall put that back to that. Uh, that fired it out. That should be back in this. Yeah, it, it, it looks like it's firing this one and the one above. So then all we need to do is fire that one. And it should fire them both, technically, hopefully. Uh, I have absolutely no idea, really. These droppers can be quite... Uh, quite the funny one. And then if we had this. I don't think that will fire it all the way around. Will it? No. So we shall have. I <laughs> the only block I have to build with. And I keep putting it in the dispensers. Like that. Okay beautiful. Now the reason why I've got this little circuit here. This tiny little one. Is if I put a stack in here. It will now constantly fire that out. At the moment, is it putting it into the top one? Is it doing it? The three came up that far, but where's everything else going? Oh, it's getting stuck in this one now. I thought we were getting lucky. I thought we were getting lucky. Okay, stop it. Good. <laughs> uh, I want to fire. I think it's probably best that we fire each one individually uh, that is unless unless this is better oh what are you doing oh Oh, it's going somewhere. It's going into that hopper. It is going in there. Beautiful. So then all we need to do is now fire that last, uh, this last uh, hopper here. Um, not hopper, uh, dispenser. So this isn't going to be easy to do though because I need to get a repeater facing. I need to change the shape of this a little bit. Okay, no problem. Just need to give ourselves a tiny little bit more room. Uh, where's the block? Where's the grey block? There it is. No, a silverfish. <laughs> Don't use the silverfish blocks. Uh, two in from the side. Beautiful. No problem. That just gives me an extra block of space, you see. Um, to be able to get the redstone in. Let's use the white block. And then have that there. And then this one comes down. To there. Now, we should be in a permanent cycle. We should be able to put whatever we want down here. Let's grab some um, ender pearls to start off with. Magma cream. Oh, magma cream looks quite cool. The blaze powder does look cool. We want that anyway. And then we're at ender pearls. 
Fire charges. It's so hard to see. In this texture pack, it's so hard to see. Um, like, what is what? There they are. Um, so let's just put those in for the moment. If I put them in here. Let's put 16 of those in. And 16 of those in. I just need enough to keep it going around. Oh, where are they? They're coming out, but did we just not have enough items in there? It might have been that we just didn't have enough items in there. There we go. So that shouldn't stop now. That should just continue going on and on and on. We lost one. We've lost a couple now. Uh, grab these glass back. Oh, are we... I don't understand why that hopper isn't keeping up with the dropper. They're in, they're in there. And then they filter out into this. Hmm, I'm going to have to have a think about it. I'll be back. I think I've got it. I think it was actually a very, very simple fix. I moved this block from here down one. And it seems to be working. I think what was happening is that this redstone, when the block was here with redstone on it, is it was actually locking that hopper uh, while it was on. And it just never had enough time to get through. So this seems, it hasn't stopped yet. And even when I'm recording, it hasn't stopped. Things always go wrong, wrong when you're recording. So <laughs> while it's working, I'm assuming that we're in a good good position. Let's uh, fill this in now. Like that. I'm going to go above here and grab this block to go over the top. Can I grab these? You can. You don't really want to be able to do that. Oh, it even worked through the autosave. I don't know if this will work through logging in and logging out. I have absolutely no idea. In fairness, we'll just have to find out, really. But that's like one part of the engine that I sort of like the, the look of. Just something, anything that moves or does something is going to really add to the effect of uh, an engine. Okay, so next one. We're going to want some pistons with uh, any block. Like, what's a cool looking block for like something in the engine? Maybe a red block. We can have something like this and this with a block in the middle. And then underneath, I've got this space underneath. We don't need anything here. Let's grab any block to build with. We'll stick with the iron ore at the back here. I know when I see iron ore, uh, it has redstone above it. What we're going to do is put a couple of... Oh, maybe this isn't the best spot. No, let's let's get this a little bit further out of the way. Let's get this down this side. There and there. And then put a torch on either one. I can put that there. And then out the back, let's just make a little hole out here. And put a torch down or something so we can see. There we go. Uh, we can have the... Uh, Line, a line coming out with a couple of, of uh, repeaters. Where's my repeaters? Repeaters and dust. We're going to want a repeater off this one. Facing the right way. <laughs> there we go. And another repeater on this one. But then on this side, we just want one repeater. And then a piece of redstone dust. It just splits them off nicely. And then all we need to do is actually put the power to each side into each uh, piston again. So this will wrap round into there. Um. No, no, no. It's on the wrong level. It's on the wrong level. I need these two. My bad. That one, that one, and that one. Ugh. Then this hooks up to there. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize there was. I was like, what? How is it going back already? 
It's because it's a sticky piston. Uh oh. Apparently you can't delete a moving piston now in Minecraft. There and there. That one. And then, so that's pushed it to the left. <laughs> that scared me for a minute. And then, that pushes it to the right. Oops. Uh, like that. And then, put some delay on this. We should get it in a minute. Hmm. Oh, it's it's there, it's there, it's there. We've got it. That one and that one. Oh, why is it just off? It's so annoying. Uh, uh huh. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, the auto save don't. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Is it gonna work? I might have to rethink how I want this to to, uh, to go then. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Uh, that's a nice pace as well. That's a nice speed. Let's grab those and those. Just hide it up, see what we think. Grab the black. Just something that moves. Something that moves. You can see the redstone behind it, but I don't think that's too much of a problem. In fact, we can probably hide it up a little bit better uh, with some slabs and stuff. Yeah, you can't see at least as much of it then. Just, I like things moving. I like things doing things. That's still ticking away, which is good. That means that that's working well. Um, what else we can have? We can have pistons that go up and down. I really like the red. But what if we used uh, other colors as well? Like in this clay here, if we had some blue ones. Uh, this is just going to be pulled up and down with a sticky piston. So it, they, they literally just get pulled up and down. Um, maybe that one and that one. And they just go ch 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 ch. Uh, but maybe, uh, automatic, maybe, uh, uh, oppositely? Oppositely? Really? Does that make sense, AJ? I don't think so. We'll have that one. And that one. This is just fun, redstone. So that fires the two pistons. And then all we need to do is have a redstone line that then hooks these up together. But we want um, one to be inverted to the other. So let's have a torch here. We'll have redstone and we need a repeater. Redstone comes down here. Repeater goes into there. Oops. And then that joins up to there. <laughs> That's st starting to look like an engine, right? Starting to get some movement going here. Uh, now, I love this. Let's grab that and that back. Uh, nope. That one. And that one. So, now we've got some moving parts to it. We need to make it look like these moving parts are actually doing something. So, maybe we could have uh, some redstone lamps that light up. Uh when certain things are in certain positions so we can have maybe a two redstone lamps above there and uh, and then how can i hook these up can we hook these up in any way where are they they're at this one and this one so then how are we going to hook those up i could have torches above these torches above these a piece of redstone and a block a piece of redstone and a block and then how do I get back in there we go so we've got some more movement going on there some more changes 
Okay, okay. Pipes. We need some pipes coming out here. So I want some solid colored blocks or something like that. Maybe even glass would be good. So like, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe we could have red glass coming out of the red one and blue gla like glass coming out of the blue one. So out of here. This can run along here. Maybe all the way to the other side. I'll do the other side off camera. Uh, and then the red one. We want to have maybe coming up over the top here, down this wall, underneath the, that blue one. Oh, that that's looking cool. They look like pipes, don't they? They look like pipes. Maybe we should go over the... We can't go over the top. That's okay. Um, or do we... If I did a purple one in the middle, would that like make sense? Because blue and red make purple. Oh, yeah, that, that looks pretty cool, actually. <laughs> okay, anything else? What else can we do that moves or does something? We've got ticks. We're, in fact, I might turn that off for the moment. Um, I should be able to turn it off. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, I could actually have the lever on the side, and then I can actually turn it off whenever I want without having to break blocks then. There you go, turn the engine off. Uh, for this one, this all runs off this red set. So if we had a... Uh... Oops, ah, I fell. If we had a redstone line come up here with some redstone, I can then put a leave on here. Oh, the piece. Oh, oh yeah, because it resets on the... No, that'll stop it, but we can't actually get it started again with that one. This one should. Yeah. So that can go and stop whenever we like. This one, I need to change up how uh, we turn it on and off. Obviously, we don't want that ticking going on at all times. That would drive everybody absolutely crazy, but it is a cool thing to be able to turn on when you want. What else have we got then? Like, in the redstone here... No, not TNT. That doesn't sound like a very good idea at all. Um, I don't think I want rails going back and forth. Redstone torches just flashing on and off could be cool. Like we could have one here. And then... What is that? What block is that? Is it this one? Or is it this one? It's that one. I was right. This one here. And then, um, if we had just, all you've got to do is have a line of redstone going into it. Like, I could do that. And then. It sounded like that moved something. Oh! Does that power the piston diagonally? No, it shouldn't do. It's no in it. No, it shouldn't do. It shouldn't do. Everything should still be working right if I just reset this. Oh, why is that? Oh, auto save. Auto save. Why is. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that redstone torch should be turning on and off now. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, what else? Can I... I can't turn that off with that anymore. It's not hooked up to it. Um, no, that's not going to do it. Turn off. Shut up. <laughs> just just shut up. Um, I don't know what else we can do in here. I'm going to build exactly this on the other side, and I'll have a think, and I'll be back. The noises are driving me crazy! <laughs> oh, man! Okay, there, and then purple one. I like, I love the, the purple mixing in. I think that's such a cool idea. So, I actually want this to look like it's going through the wall. So, I'm just going to add a couple more on like that, and it looks like it goes through it then. It doesn't actually go anywhere. On, oops. It doesn't actually go anywhere on the other side, uh, but it just looks pretty good. It's... Oh, silverfish. 
I bet I've done that this episode. I bet I have. Where's the normal one here? Oh, man. I know I've done that. I'm 100% sure I've done that. Uh, that one. That one. And to there. Beautiful. Okay. So it looks like the pipes are actually going places now. Let's grab a blue one. Uh, the blue glass. And I want this blue glass to end up going through here. Take those three away. Oh, stop doing that. <laughs> stop being so inaccurate with your block placement. There. And then. Oh, it shouldn't affect the redstone. If I flick that switch again. Yeah, good. Glass doesn't uh, block up. Um, glass doesn't block redstone from traveling through it, which is nice. This is cool, though. This is really cool. So what else would you need now in an engine room? Well, ooh, that was weird. Quite importantly, you're going to need computer monitors. Let me just um, shut some stuff up. I don't mind the pistons going. Pistons are fine. Um, let's have some paintings here. We're going to have to have some computer monitors and uh, to be able to read what exactly is going on. There's a good graph one. On this side, I would like another two block wide one. Oh, yeah, like that. See, that looks really good there. And then we'll grab some tables. To go in here with some slabs. Uh, this one. And the same on this side. Oh. Ugh. Like that. Uh, we're going to want some larger ones on here. Uh, some larger paintings somewhere. Uh, can, there isn't a 3x3 three three painting. But if we can get two 2x2s. Two there's one. There's two. Beautiful. And then we'll have another table that goes along here. Got to keep it all running. And then along here we shall have... <laughs> no. Uh, that one and that one. That looks good. So there are three along here. And we'll just have a nice small list table. <clears throat> Can I put one there? Thank you. I should cover up that glowstone as well, really, shouldn't I, with another one? Yeah, like that. So we have four small ones along here. Well, uh, one. That looked pretty cool. But we haven't really got the space. But we can have that upstairs. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Really, really nice paintings here. Yes, I will look at it in the default taste pack when it's finished. <laughs> have, have you guys had enough of, of asking that now? <laughs> I promise I will. I, I promise you I will have a look. Just not, not halfway through building it. Okay, there we go. That one in the middle. I like that. This is now looking like a really cool little computer room. I want to have some glowstone in a couple of places because we're looking a little bit dark right here. And do the same on this side to even it up. Oops. There. Beautiful. And uh, maybe one right here and here. That one. Okay, I think that's good. I think it's now light enough in here. I think we have enough moving stuff and noise going on. I mean, an engine room would be noisy, so you want as many things moving and stuff at the same time as you possibly can. And I think we've got it. I think this is pretty cool as an engine room. I'll be able to figure out a way how to turn and uh, turn on and off this uh, contraption here. Uh, it shouldn't really be too much of a problem. Uh, I might even be able to just do it with like a lever on this piston here. No, because then it, it gets stuck. Then I, there will be a way. There will be a way to be able to to uh, start them and stop them. I'd love to be able to start and stop them whenever I want. But I just need to figure out exactly how how I'm going to do that. All I've got to do is have this turn off this one circuit, and everything else will turn off. But without getting it stuck. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the episode, then hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with uh, this and all the other series. I can still grab them. <laughs> I don't want to be able to grab them. Um, 
then uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe and you'll be able to uh, keep up to date with everything. So see you guys in the next episode. Bye!